Okay, so if you're an agent in Toronto, uh, the Toronto MLS is not allowing us to break down um, properties, like featured properties by agent. And so that kind of puts us in a pickle. So what, what I would do is go in here to your uh, toolbar, an IDX broker, and then log in where it says Wid Designs, click on Designs, and then Widgets. Then uh, we've created one here. Let's see. Let's say show 50 widgets on a page. We've created one here like this. It's just a showcase widget and you can enter up to 25 listing IDs. And on this site it needs to be 700 wide and you can make it as many rows and, and pretty much as many columns as you want. I put it two. I, if it's one column the pictures get stretched out too much. Um, and then here you can just put the the uh, IDs in there, the property IDs. So uh, let's go back here and look at this. You can see with these oops, with these two properties in here, and this I just pulled this one from here. Then it gives you an image like this. Uh, if we go back and say, well, uh, this really isn't one of our listings so let's do that okay then I'll reload the page here and you end up with with one property like that um, so I don't know I would I would recommend putting in another one and if we wanted to put in two or three then what we would need to do is basically just change this so that the columns are two or three and add uh, some different listing IDs here and then save widgets and when it saves here it's going to automatically update on this space on the website so that should work um, for any listings